What's up you guys and welcome to episode one of my chest route guide. This is going to be a series that I make showing you guys sort of the chest routes that I use. Um, hang on. That works. And right now we're playing on Twer and Survival Games 2. And generally I hit spawn on this map. That's why. Okay, go away. And so you want to head off basically... There's the sun rising in the east. This wouldn't be south. So you head up around this mountain. Actually, a lot of people tend to run this direction. But... Oh, come on. Occasionally... Or actually, generally. For the most part, they peel off the route. Let's put that on. And there's quite a few tier 2s. I haven't counted exactly how many. But there are... Quite a few. So the first tier two is going to be right here in this little waterfall. You pick it up and boom. Put that on. And then the second tier two is going to be right over here in this waterfall. Now you do got to be careful because there are a lot of people that rush. There's a tier two over there that'll rush that spot really quickly and sometimes that chest has decent stuff. Oh, it's a tier 2, double tier 2. So it always has decent stuff in it. But sometimes, a little weapon. And you just gotta be aware that there are gonna be pretty hostile people in this area pretty early on in the game. So that's the second tier 2. And we're gonna run this way. And we're gonna try to get this chest. Thankfully, nobody went for it. Except for that one girl that I killed earlier was the only person remotely headed this way. So you can do this with one person. You just gotta run over them quickly and spam click. And so as you can see already, we're looking pretty good. Um, we got almost full iron armor, we got a stone sword. Well, we got that from spawn, but yeah. Spawn is good on this map. So as I mentioned, again, go straight for spawn um, for the most part. Okay, so now that we got, what was that? Three tier twos, I'm gonna go across here. And we're going to go right up this mountain. I believe there are two tier twos on this mountain. I know there's one for sure. And it is a little bit effort requiring to actually get up here. Got to do a few difficult jumps. Why is that so loud? And then we've got this chest right here. This is the tier 2. And further up, there's another chest, which I think is also a tier 2. Now this route that I'm taking is good enough to where if you have two people, you'll still walk away with enough stuff for both of you to be geared. Um, one way to do it is to have each of you go to each end of the route. Um, one person start off where I'm going to end it. And I, is that a tier? Yeah, that's a tier 2 and sort of meet up in the middle. Um, in the end, <laughs> you're gonna have some really good stuff. All right, we need to eat. There was a person down there. Was there? Did I see someone? Yep, I did. There we go. Alright. Getting some armor that I wanted. Um, so sorry I got really quiet. I didn't want him to kill me. Ruin the video. Alright, so it looks like he sort of went towards the end of the chest route. But if you run up here, there's a tier 1. It's not... Obviously, it's not very good. But it is always nice to have some tier 1s in your route. So you can pick up stuff like sticks and uh, food or ironing it even. 
All right. Now the route has three more tier twos, I believe. You go down here, there's a cave. I'm feeling like someone's already been in here though. To get in, you just hit this button. Real quick run in here. No one's, wow. We're gonna dump all this chain armor and gold and stuff we don't need. Okay, so let's organize this inventory a little bit. Make sure no one's sneaking up on me. All right, we need another ingot. All right, so those were both tier twos. And the last tier two on my route is in the boat over here. Do we have a boat? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Now, the only downside to this route is, one, it's very long, which it's a good thing. Um, but once you get to this point, a lot of people run for that cave first thing. Not a lot, but like occasionally you will see people going there as their first stop. So by the time you get here, sometimes the cave will already be taken. But I mean, if you think about it, by the time I even got to the cave, I already had full armor. So, you know, in the end, it's not really necessary to hit up the cave unless you have multiple people and it becomes more necessary. But if you have multiple people, you can just send someone to go that way first and you're all good. All right, someone's already gotten that. That is a tier two though, I'm 99% sure. And so that's pretty much the end of my route. Um, I know there are a few more tier two sort of that you can go find. I'm not 100% sure where they are, but as you can see, we're full iron um, stone sword. And generally you'll walk away with enough iron ingots or diamonds to make an iron or s diamond sword by this point. I just didn't get super lucky, but yeah, that's my route. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like if you liked it. Feel free to share, too. Um, this video, I'm thinking, is actually going to be helpful to some people. So, you know, if you think it would be, go ahead and share it. And I'll see you guys next time.